titles bring summer at your library to you. Hit a home run this summer and register today. La emoción y la aventura están a la vuelta de la esquina este verano en su biblioteca. Crea su propio mundo de las maravillas literarias desde su casa. Sumérgete en nuestra interminable biblioteca en línea, aprenda nuevas habilidades, explore eventos virtuales y conéctese con su comunidad de una manera completamente nueva. A partir del 18 de mayo, el sistema de bibliotecas conmemorativas del condado de Prince George y los Washington Nationals traen el verano a su biblioteca. Haz un honrón este verano y regístrate hoy. Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to today's Yoga for Kids. We're super excited to have you. We have these all Saturdays at 11 a.m. And if you haven't been joining us for these and other virtual events, you can view our complete schedule of virtual events at pgcmls.info. We have events for all age groups, all interests, and we have things every single day. So we would love if you join us. At the end of this program, we will uh, air our um, our trailer for Summer at Your Library in English and Spanish. If you haven't signed up for Summer at Your Library, it's an all online, all ages summer reading program, the first of its kind that we've had here in Prince George's County. So uh, if you haven't signed up for that, check the chat on Facebook or Crowdcast and you can sign up for our summer reading program at those links or just visit pgcmls.info for more info. So without further ado, we'll welcome Katherine Barrett-Gaines to get us started in this beautiful day with some yoga. Hello. All right. Today, we're going to tell the story of the three little animals. The three little animals. They're not pigs because yoga doesn't have a pig, but yoga has 
three little animals. We can start with the cat. Yoga has a cat. We can push our back up into the sky like a cat. Yoga has, well, usually what goes with the cat is the cow. Yoga has a cow. So we have a cat and a cow, and yoga has a sloth. We push our hips back to our heels, and we push our hands forward in a sloth. The cat, the cow, and the sloth. Now also in our story is the wolf. Now the wolf sits on her heel with her head straight in the air and the top of her head shining to the sky. And the wolf puts her hands in front of her and she looks around one shoulder and she exhales there. And then she looks around the other shoulder and she exhales there. And when she knows she's alone, or she checks the other shoulder again, one more time. She exhales over that shoulder. She inhales and looks over this shoulder and exhales there. That's the wolf. The wolf, as you know, can puff and puff and puff and puff and blow anybody's house down, right? She can puff and puff. She can puff and puff and blow anybody's house down. Now the cat says, what? There's a wolf, what? There's a wolf. And the cow says, Moo. don't worry about the wolf. And the cat says, what? There's a wolf, what? There's a wolf. And the cow says, Ooh, don't worry about the wolf. But the sloth pushes her hips back to her heels, puts her head on the floor and says, I got this. The sloth says, I got this. But the cat is not convinced. The cat, what? The back up into the sky, a scared cat, what? The cat says, I have to get ready. I have to get ready. I have to build a house to keep myself safe from the wolf. The wolf is ready to huff and puff. And the cat says, what? So the cat begins. The cat starts to run around looking for materials to build her house. The cat takes a step forward to find the materials. The cat takes another step forward to find something to build the house. The cat takes another step forward. I need to find something to build my house. And the cat finds herself in a sea of tall grass. And the tall grass is waving in the wind. The tall grass is waving in the wind, waving in the wind. The tall grass is waving in the wind. And the cat says, what? I can build my house out of that tall grass. What? And then I'll be safe from the wolf <sighs> who can puff and puff and blow down my house. But if I build my house out of the Oh, grass, the wolf won't be able to get me. So the cat takes a step into the tall grass and grabs all the tall grass. Takes a step in and grabs the tall grass. Takes a step in and grabs the tall grass. And the cat puts the tall grass into a house. And the cat's house is moving in the wind because it's grass. The cat's house moves in the wind because it's grass. <laughs> and the cat's house blows in the wind because it's grass. And the cat's house, now that's the cat. The cat, what? 
has built a house out of tall grass, tall grass that moves in the wind because the cat is afraid of the wolf who can huff and puff and get that cat. And the cat is afraid. What? Now the cow rolled up her hips in her head and says, moo cat. Don't be afraid of that wolf cat. A wolf can't get a cow. Have you ever seen a wolf get a cow? Uh-oh, a wolf can get a cow. So the cow thinks, the cow sits up on her knees. She puts her hands on the back of her back and she thinks, hmm, what should I make my house out of? Hmm. My house needs to be strong, so the wolf can't cuff and huff and blow it down. So the cat, the cow, hmm, the cow looks first at the cat's house. The cat says, look at my house. The cat says, I made a house out of tall grass. See my house made of tall grass? Yeah, sure, it can blow in the wind, but it's a house and I can't see the wolf when I'm inside my house. And the cow says, hmm, hmm, I'm a bigger animal, I'm a cow. I might need something a little stronger. So the cow takes a step forward, looking for the materials to make her house. Hmm, hmm. And when she reaches the forest, she finds the tall trees. The tall trees. And the cow says, hmm, those might be the materials for my house. I can take branches of a tree, branches of a tree to make my house. So the cow goes into the forest and wraps herself around the trees. She takes a tree and she drags it back to where she's going to build her house. And the cow puts the trees on her back and begins to build. The cow begins to build one part of her house, one, one stick begins to be used, then another one rises up. She has the side of her house and even the foundation of her house. The cow is building a strong house out of wood, out of trees. And let's see, that was one wall. Then the cat, the cow rises up puts her hands on her back and says, hmm, that's a good wall. Let me build the other wall of my house. And the cow reaches back and gets another tree, another tree for, she goes back to the build to the woods and takes another tree, the branches, the branches, the trunk of the tree, all of the branches, and she puts it on her back, her cow back, and she brings it back to where she built her first wall. And then she begins to build the second wall of her house. And she builds it tall and strong and even has a foundation, the second wall of her house. That's what the cow does. And the cow says, I think I shall put a roof on my house. So the cow goes back to the woods and finds more materials for the roof of her house. The roof has a nice pitch, a very, very high roof because she's a big animal. 
and she builds a strong roof. Four walls and a strong roof. And she gets inside and she says, hmm, I think I have a fabulous house. And she even says, there's room for me in my house to stretch. There's room for me in my house to stretch even like a camel. I can even stretch like that funny camel. There's so much room in my strong house. So she goes to visit the cat. The cat said, what? Are you the wolf? Are you that big bad wolf that can huff and huff and eat me? And the cow says, relax, cat. I've come to see your house and to bring you to show you my house. And the cat says, what? Oh, great. Come on in. Come on into my house made of tall grass. My house made of tall grass. And the cow says, hmm, nice house, cat, but it's made of grass. Why don't you come see my house? And the cat says, what? Okay. So they go to see the cow's house. Remember, the cow's house has strong walls. Many, many, all four, even more than four, strong walls. And the cow's house has a roof, a roof over it. The cow has built this house using strong materials made from the tree, the tree that she finds, all the trees in the forest that she needed to build her house. And the cat says, what? This is a great house. This is a really nice house. And the cow says, yes, it does. And the cat says, well, I'm going to go back to my house. My house made of grass. And I'm going to wait there because I'm afraid of the wolf. The huff and puff. E wolf. Now, while the cat and the cow have been building their houses. The sloth, if you remember, has her back down to her heels and her arms stretched in front, and she says, I got this. The sloth says, I got this. Now the sloth takes a look at that house that the cat built, that grassy house that the cat built, and the sloth says, mm, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to work. I got this. And the sloth takes a look at the house that the cow built, made of strong wooden sides and a strong wooden roof. And the cow is happy there. But the sloth says, hmm, I don't think so. I got this. The sloth says, hmm, I got this. The sloth says, those, those houses were easy to make. It's easy to make a house out of tall grass. It's even sort of easy to make a house out of wood. The wood that comes from the tree. Yeah. But the sloth, the sloth spends some time thinking. Back down in her sloth pose, she thinks. What's better than grass for a house? Let me think. Yeah, wood from a tree is better than grass for a house, but let me think some more. She thinks some more and she decides, if I'm really going to protect myself against all things coming, including that wolf, that wolf that can huff and puff, I'm going to need something stronger than grass. 
and stronger than wood. I'm gonna need to make myself a house from brick. So the sloth starts to think, hmm, what can I use to build my house from brick? Hmm, I need to build my house from brick. Well, I need bricks. So the cat, the, the sloth begins to build her house from brick, a very strong house, slowly one wall at a time, four walls. This is one wall of her brick house and another wall of her brick house and the third wall of her brick house and the fourth wall of her brick house and the fifth wall of her brick house. The fifth wall, of course, is the roof made from strong, strong brick. And she built it from the bottom up where her knees pull up and all of the strength that comes from the foundation up. <sighs> the strong brick house. And even the foundation is gripping, gripping onto the ground and the foundation of the first floor is pulling up to hold the foundation of the second floor, which is sitting right under the third floor and the roof. This is the strongest house in yoga. And it's the strongest house for the animals. And the sloth is happy with the house. The sloth has given it thought and she said, I got this. And the sloth says, let me go visit and tell my friend, the cat, what about my house? So the sloth goes to see, the sloth takes a walk <laughs> and goes to see the cat, what? And the sloth taps on the door of the grass house the grass house and the cat's inside scared and the, and the cat says, what, what? And the sloth says, be cool cat. It's me, steady sloth. And the cat says, what, oh, okay. The sloth says, I just wanna see your house. And the cat said, all right, come on in. So the sloth comes in to the grass house. And the sloth says, that's a nice house. It's very pretty. It's made of beautiful, beautiful woven grass. It's lovely. You gathered it from nearby? And the cat says, yes, very nearby, very easy to gather, very quick, very quick, very quick, very quick house. And the sloth says, yeah, yeah, it looks like a quick house. Yeah, it looks like you did it real fast. Real fast and quick. Yeah, nice. And the sloth says, let me go visit the cow. Goes, she goes to visit the cow, she knocks on the door, and the cow says, Moo. And the sloth says, Be cool, be cool, cow. It's just me, sloth. Come on to see your house. And the cow, the cow says, Oh, come on in. So the sloth comes in to the cow's strong wooden house. The strong wooden walls that the cow made from the tall and strong wooden trees. <laughs> the tall trees that the cow built into her house. And the sloth said, nice house. It's strong, it's got strong wooden walls. It's got strong wooden floors. It's got a strong wooden roof. You built this from the trees next door, huh? And the cow said, yeah, yeah, not bad. I was able to get those trees over here pretty quick and get this house up, it didn't take too long. And the sloth said, didn't take too long, huh? Yeah, I can see. Oh, it's a nice house, it's a nice house, cow. Yeah, it's a very nice house. But it didn't take too long, huh? No, not too long. The sloth said, yeah, I can see, didn't take too long. And the sloth heads back home. 
the sloth head comb to her strong house. Her house with its five, its four walls and its roof made of brick. The brick that she built one brick at a time. The strong brick with the strong mortar in between and she put that brick on her foundation. She put the brick to her first floor, her second floor, her third floor, and her roof. And that brick was gripping into the ground. It wasn't going to go anywhere. That brick was reaching toward the sky with strong walls. That brick was coming. The sloth was ready. Good thing all of those three animals are ready. Because remember our wolf? The wolf is puffing. The wolf is puffing. The wolf is hungry. And the wolf smells the smell of a sweet cat. The cat said, what? And the wolf said, hey, kitty, 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 kitty. And the cat said, what? And the cow says, hey, the, the wolf says, hey, kitty, 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 kitty. Why don't you come out of your grass house? And the cat says, what? The cat is inside of the grass house, just a shivering and a shivering and making the grass house a shiver and a shiver. And the wolf says, if you don't come out of that house, I'm going to huff. I'm going to puff. I'm going to huff. I'm going to puff and I'm going to blow your house down. And the cat says, what? You can't come in, wolf. What? Not by the hairs of my chitty chin chin. Because cats do have hairs on their chitty chin chin. Not by the hairs of my chitty chin chin. What? You can't come in. And so the wolf said, well, that's it. I'm going to huff and I am pumping and I'm blowing your house down. And the cat's grass house went whoosh, 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 whoosh. And it blew down to the ground. And the cat said, what? And the cat ran, ran as fast as she could, ran. And she ran, and she ran, and she ran to the cow's house. And she ran to the cow's house and she knocked on the door and the cow said, moo. And the cat says, what? Let me in, let me in, let me in. And the cow said, moo. The cat said, the wolf's out, the wolf's out, the wolf's out. And the wolf said, what do I smell? Cow and cat. I'm going to go find a cow and a cat in the same house. And the cow said, what do you want, little cat? And the cat said, let me in, let me in. Here comes the cow. Here comes the wolf. Here comes the wolf. Let me in, cow. And the cow said, don't worry. Come on in. So the cat and the cow were in the strong wooden house with the strong wooden walls and the strong wooden floor and the strong wooden doors and the strong wooden roof the strong wooden roof of the cow's house. They feel safe. The cat feels safe. Ooh. The cow feels safe. Ooh. And the wolf is at the door. And the wolf said, if you don't let me in, I'm going to huff. And I'm going to pump. And I'm going to blow your wooden house down. And the cat said, what? And the cow said, you can't blow my house down, wolf. I made my house of the strong trees of the forest, the strong trees of the forest. And the wolf said, all right, you don't let me in. And I huff, and I puff, and I blow that wooden house down. And the cow said, no, not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. 
because you know cows have hairs on their chin 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 too. Pigs don't. But the cat said, not by the hairs on my chin chin chin. And the cow said, not by the hairs on my chin chin chin. And the wolf said, well, then that's it. I'm going to huff. And I'm going to puff. Okay, I may need to huff and puff again. I'm going to huff. And I'm going to puff. Okay, pretty strong huff. But I'm going to huff again. And I'm going to puff. And that cow blew that house right down. The wooden walls got blown down. And the wooden roof got blown over. That wooden roof didn't make it. And the cat said, what? And the cow said, oh, we better go. And the cat and the cow both began to run. What? We better run. Who? We better run. Who? We better run. Who? We better run. And they ran to see the sloth. Now the sloth all this time was in her brick house saying, I got this. I got this. And the cat comes to the door and says, what? And the cow comes to the door and says, sloth. And the cat comes to the door and says, sloth. And the cow comes to the door and says, sloth. And the sloth says, huh? Huh? And the cat says, wolf's coming, wolf's coming, wolf's coming, wolf's coming. The cow says, the wolf, yeah, it's coming. She's coming. And the cow said, the, the sloth said, I got this. Come on in, guys. And the, and the cat says, thank you. And the cow says, oh, thank you. And all three of the animals get inside of the brick house with its strong one wall and its strong second wall and its strong third wall and its strong fourth wall and its strong roof and gripping it into the ground, the ground gripping to hold up the first floor and the second floor and the third floor and the roof and all of the power of the brick, the brick that the sloth had built brick at a time. One brick at a time. And they're in the brick house and the wolf says, what's that I smell? A cat mm, and a cow mm, and a sloth. That's three little animals for me to eat. And that wolf was so happy. She began to huff just because she's excited. And she began to huff just because it's very exciting to think of eating three animals. A cat, what? A cow, moo, and a sloth. Oh, that wolf is going to feast. The wolf looks over one shoulder. The wolf looks over the other shoulder. And she comes to the door of that brick house. And the wolf says, you better let me in, sloth. You better let me in, cow. You better let me in, cat. Or I'll huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow that brick house down. And the cat said, no way. Not by the hair on my chin chin chin. Because cats do have hair on their chin. And the cow said, no way. Not by the hair on my chin 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 because cows have hair on their chinny chin chins too. And the sloth said, I got this. I got this wolf. You're not getting in. And the wolf said, I blew down the grass house. It was easy because it was so quickly made out of grass. And the wolf said, I blew down the wooden house the strong wooden house made of very strong trees. I blew that down. I can blow down your brick house made of bricks because I've blown down all of those houses. And the sloth says, yeah, yeah, I got this. 
this ain't a grass top, okay? I took more time than I than than than, than Miss Cat with her grass. And the cat said, What? I got the grass was nice. Yeah, said the sloth. The grass was nice. Yeah, let's call it that. Where is it now? Where is it now, cat? Oh, good point. Good point. The grass is everywhere. And the cow said, Hey, hey, hey. My wooden house was strong. And the sloth said, Yeah, sure. Wooden house real strong. Really strong. It really was. And beautiful. You threw that together with some boards you found in the woods, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I had to, you know, I had to saw them up and finish them and nail them together. I mean, it was a process. The sloth said, Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was good. But this brick house, you can't beat this brick house. It took me time. Let me tell you about what I had to do. I had to build each brick, make each brick one at a time, and stack it onto the other brick. One brick, one brick. Stack a brick, make a brick. Stack a brick, make a brick. And I had to get up really high and stack those strong bricks. Stack a brick, make a brick. And that's why I ended up with the strongest house of all. The brick house. Takes time, but it's the strongest. And the wolf said, ha, push you, push off. I can blow down your brick house. Remember, I have the powerful huff. I have the powerful puff. I have the powerful huff. And I have the powerful puff. And when I blow down your house, I'm gonna have a cat snack. What? I'm gonna have a moo meal. What? And I'm gonna have me some sloth soup. And the sloth said, I got this. And the cat said, sloth, how are you so relaxed? And the moo cow said, yes, sloth. How come you're not scared? And the sloth sat back on her heels with her arms stretched in front of her and said, I got this. But the wolf, the wolf was still at the door, the strong brick door. And the wolf said, all right, that's it. I'm not waiting anymore for my snack and my meal and my soup of sloth. I'm gonna huff, I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow that brick house down. Okay, it's pretty strong, we're trying to get it. I'm gonna huff, this time I'm really gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow that brick house right down. Okay, one more time, one more time. I'm gonna huff, I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow that brick house down. Well, while that, Wolf was huffing and a puck. The sloth had another idea. The sloth said, hey little cat, do you have any more of that grass? And the cat said, sure, I've got some more grass. And the sloth said, hey big cow, you got some more of that wood? And the cow said, yeah, I got some more of that wood. And the sloth said, I got this. And the sloth built a fire from the grass lighting up the grass with fire, and then adding the wood from the trees to the fire of the grass until the sloth made a roaring fire in the house and filled up a big pot, a big pot full of water, the water that flows out of the tap into the pot. And the cat said, and the cow said, yeah, sloth, what's going on? And the sloth said back on her heels with her arms outstretched, she said, I got this. And the wolf, the wolf was still outside, a huffing, and a puffing. You got inside and get that cat snack and that moo meal and that sloth soup. But the cat was huffing, and a puffing, excuse me, the sloth was huffing, I mean, the wolf, was huffing and puffing and couldn't get in. But the wolf noticed the chimney on top of the brick house. And the wolf climbed up. And the wolf climbed up. And the wolf climbed up. And up. And up. 
to the top of the roof of the brick house on top of the sea roof. And the wolf, the wolf climbed down and down and down into the chimney. And what happened to the wolf into the, in down in the chimney? The wolf dropped into that pot of water and boiled up. And so the cat and the cow and the sloth had wolf burgers. Do you think that's a silly story? Or do you think that's a story about how smart the sloth is? Thank you again so much for joining us today for Yoga for Kids. We are so excited that you joined us and we hope that you'll join us again. This is always at Satur on Saturdays at 11. You can view the uh, complete schedule of upcoming virtual events at pgcmls.info. We also uh, ask you if you're interested to join up for Summer at Your Library, our online all ages summer reading program, which you can also find information at pgcmls.info slash summer at your library, no spaces. We'll just play a trailer now so you can get a little more information about that. We're so excited to have it and we hope you have a wonderful weekend. La emoción y la aventura están a la vuelta de la esquina este verano en su biblioteca. Crea su propio mundo de las maravillas literarias desde su casa. Sumérgete en nuestra interminable biblioteca en línea Aprenda nuevas habilidades, explore eventos virtuales y conéctese con su comunidad de una manera completamente nueva. A partir del 18 de mayo, el sistema de bibliotecas conmemorativas del condado de Prince George y los Washington Nationals traen el verano a su biblioteca. Haz un honrón este verano y regístrate hoy. Excitement and adventure are around every corner this summer at your library. Create your own literary wonderland at home. Immerse yourself in our never-ending online library. Learn new skills, explore virtual events, and connect with your community in a whole new way. Starting May 18th, the Prince George's County Memorial Library System and the Washington Nationals bring summer at your library to you. Hit a home run this summer and register today.